wanted action when I was in the blind, when I didn't have no help. Whenever I speak on death row, it brings back bad vibes, and I don't really like dwelling on it. Did you say Snoop Dogg paid to get into the game? It's Snoop Dogg paperwork all over the internet. Snoop Dogg's paperwork right here. Snoop Dogg's paperwork for everyone to see. The history of Suge Knight's and Snoop Dogg's relationship is pretty complicated. It even got to the point that the former owner of Death Row wanted to kill Snoop. But why? Let's try figuring this out and go back to the 90s. Suge received a contract for the movie Deep Cover. They got the money and had to make a soundtrack for the film. They wanted to put Snoop on it, but there was a problem. Suge didn't like him after their first meeting. Knight asked Dre if he was sure about him. Dre stood up for Snoop Dogg and told him to just check out how he raps. Later, the track comes out. He's about to do. Take your ass on a mission with the boys in blue. Dre, what up, Snoop? Yo, I got the feeling. Next, he takes part in the album The Chronic, where more and more people find out about Snoop. It's like this and like that and like this, Santa. It's like that and like this and like that, Anna. But in 1993, something so serious happened that Snoop Dogg could have gone to jail. Philip Waldemarium, a member of a rival gang, was shot dead by Snoop's bodyguard, leading to their arrest. Snoop came and surrendered to the police on his own. Suge Knight does not like this situation and decides to go to Interscope where he says, We can't let Snoop Dogg go to jail, otherwise we'll lose a huge star. It's his job to be an artist and promote this stuff. And then when they come to arrest him, it's my job to get him out of there. Damn, then you got a murder and you out? Suge made shit happen. During the trial, Snoop's debut album, Doggy Style, became the number one album in the world, and the rapper celebrated the success of his hit, Murder Was The Case. The prosecutors built most of their case around the album's violent lyrics, paying particular attention to this track. Snoop had everything he ever dreamed of. He called Shogun, and asked him what he needs. Money, cars, and so on. The thing is that it was Knight who usually helped everyone himself. Drama in the LBC is kinda hard being Snoop D O double G, but I somehow some In court the lawyer said that it was self-defense. The victim was a gangbanger and Snoop was portrayed as the biggest rap star in the world. He and his security guard were eventually acquitted of the murder charges. However, after Tupac came, everything changed. He became the closest person to Suge. Shakur had to do everything quickly, and Dre, with his attention to details and perfectionism, was not a good match for him. In addition to this, Dre was not satisfied with how things were going in Death Row. He decides to leave the label, leaving Snoop kinda shocked that this decision had not been discussed with him beforehand. Regardless, he continued working on his second solo album, while Pac and Shug said that they didn't need Dre anyway. He is a dope producer, but he ain't working here. And I got tired of that. I, I didn't think we needed that. I, mean, I think we didn't need that. But he was owning the company too, and he's and he chilling. He owning the company, he's chilling about fucking big, he's pussy. I'm out here in the street, you know what I mean? Whooping niggas ass, starting wars and shit, putting it down, dropping albums. Snoop couldn't have disagreed more. He respected Dre a lot, but he understood that if he wanted to join him, they wouldn't let him off the hook so easily. Gangster rap singer Tupac Shakur died tonight in a Las Vegas hospital. Then comes the fateful day for both Tupac and Death Row. Tupac would not survive after he got shot several times in Las Vegas. Snoop falls into a deep depression, not knowing what will happen next, but but he understood that he had to get out. The only thing we could do to make it easy is get together and try to make songs and try to go on tour together and show that it's not a rivalry, it is peace. And that's from my point of view, I got my hand out to any rapper that want to go on the road with me and make some money and make it happen. In 1996, Knight got arrested for violating parole during a Las Vegas shootout. Snoop wanted to end the conflict with Bad Boy Records and wanted to ask Suge what he thought about that. The word I get was, uh, it wasn't from him, but the word they got back to me. F bitch ass niggas. As a matter of fact, it was this decision that led to their relationship going completely south. We feel like fucked up because it's like you see me trying to reach out and show love, and this is the message that you send, and then slowly but surely they turn on me. I'm trying to live, y'all niggas trying to die. In 1997, however, Snoop and P. Diddy meet up and talk about the War of the Coasts. 
Yo, Steve, check this, man. All that East Coast, West Coast stuff is a bunch of media hype. It's been my dog from day one, you know what I'm saying? It's all good between me and him. That's my peoples. For real, that's what we came here for. We came in to light it up and ride it up. We make music for everybody. After that, Snoop had to hire 24-7 security as Suge and his people were trying to kill him. He wanted action when I was in the blind, when I didn't have no help, right. when I didn't have no team, right. and when he could stack a team. You know. When Knight was sentenced to nine years in prison, Snoop took the opportunity and signed a contract with no limit. What you want for Snoop? Suge responds, it's not about that, it's about respect. But if you want to talk business, let's talk business. Master P gave millions to Suge to release Snoop Dogg from his contract. I was working against the devil, and through the grace of God, Master P. Death Row it was fun while it lasted, and it, what it, it was what it was, but it was more negative than positive. And right now I'm surrounding myself with positivity, so whenever I speak on Death Row, it brings back bad vibes, and I don't really like dwelling on it. But you don't think Snoop yeah. was the right? I mean, I don't want to make Alice, I don't want to, I don't need to put nobody out there. Okay. If, if I do that, it's like a form of telling. But for the street guys out there, they know. There's only one person that paid money to be involved in the game. Right. And that was uh, Snoop. Snoop paid to be in the game. You say Snoop don't pay to get into the game? Yeah, he paid to get into the game. Later, Suge says that Tupac was envied by many, including Snoop Dogg. Some artists knew him. But like, Pac and Snoop at the end hated each other. And you could tell that by the simple fact that when Snoop did Dogfather, Pac was not on that one song. And Pac didn't like Dre. That would change the Death Row camp because of the jealousy of Tupac. Because Tupac is now all of a sudden now, he's this major star, he getting all the light, he getting all the attention. Two spoke with Suge Knight recently who said, he used to be a superstar and now he's just a no limit soldier. What do you say to that? He used to be a CEO, now he's just a inmate. Next, Snoop releases a track where he disses his former producer. You was paying niggas off with all my riches. You so hard coke, why you ain't go to level four? In the track, he also says that Suge ruined the hip hop industry and calls him a bitch. Just like his wife Michelle, who is rumored to have slept with many men before marrying him in 99. This nigga's a bitch like his wife. Suge Knight's a bitch and that's all my life. In his documentary, Suge said that he saved everyone and all he got was a stab in the back. I took on a fight for these clowns because I didn't want them getting robbed. And they crossed me. They met again in 2013. Boom! Suge like, doggy dog. Man, tell this nigga I ain't tripping, man. Tell this nigga to kick back. Cause it's like my dog is on him now. Yeah. You know, you got your <laughs> 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 Snoop asked Suge why he sent his thugs to get him killed, but did forgive him in the end. It was a meeting of two great minds that realized going at each other would just lead to two dead minds, Snoop said. He also says that they have mutual love and respect for each other. Snoop pays respect to Knight for giving a start to his career, and Knight responds with gratitude for what Snoop did for the label. According to Snoop, it was also a business decision as they realized they could accomplish a lot of things as a team. I'm back, big mad, he's mad, she's mad, big sad, ha ha. However, after a while, 6 9 comes out of nowhere and accuses Snoop Dogg of snitching while watching a video with Suge Knight. Oh, Snoop would never come. I mean, Snoop was on, you know, we'd be the murder trial for him, but then he was on probation, then he got caught with two ounces of marijuana. You better get off my line, nigga. Rat boy. You really better leave me alone. I ain't the one. It's Snoop Dogg paperwork all over the internet. Snoop Dogg's paperwork right here. Snoop Dogg's paperwork for everyone to see. And the internet started discussing Snoop's past yet again. It's up to you to believe it or not, but it will be interesting to see what you guys think in the comment section. Should I make a video about the conflict between Dre and Shug? Let us know in the comments. I suggest you check out the next video about P. Diddy. I'll see you guys later.